I confess uh, it's a third rail on social media. Talking about artificial sweeteners, there are two camps, it seems, or at least um, two camps. One that say artificial sweeteners are not detrimental at all. Another that says they're very detrimental, mainly based on the mouse studies. And then there are people in the middle that are, I put myself in that category. I drink the occasional diet soda. I don't consume them in large volume, but I'm sort of in the, the middle there. However, the, um, and so I just throw that out there because I know immediately people um, are jumping on that. But I will just mention there's some recent data from out of um, Diego Borges' lab at Duke University that the neurons that live in the gut mucosa, these neuropod cells, can actually distinguish between artificial and um, true sweet sugar versus artificial uh, sweeteners. Um, based, they send different patterns of neural signals up to the brain and the brain circuitry seems strongly impacted. So I think that as the data emerge, we're hearing more and more of these artificial sweeteners um, either are problematic or at least are signaling different events in the, in the gut. Uh, I do want to make sure that we distinguish uh, artificial sweeteners from non-caloric plant-based sweeteners. 